Hey guys, Bob Morielli here with the Tuning School, and on today's Tech Tuesday, we're going to be talking about how to add a horsepower parameter, or PID, into your VCM scanner. All right, guys, welcome back. So in order to explain this, let's go ahead and hop over to the VCM scanner now. Hey guys, all right, so let's go ahead over here in the VCM scanner, and I'm just gonna go ahead and maximize my screen. Now you'll see I have a log file open here, and you'll see I also have delivered engine torque reading in this log file. It is critical, and this will only work if you are recording delivered engine torque over here in your actual channels. So you can go and add it to your channels if you don't have it, um, but you will need it for a scan to work, uh, to actually show you horsepower. So um, to do this, we're gonna go ahead up to tools, and then math parameters. Now as you can see here, I've already added horsepower previously. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that for us, done. So now we can't cheat. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start from scratch. So again, that was tools and then math parameters. Now we're gonna create this math parameter. And what this means is we're going to use HP Tuner's scanner uh, to take something, interpret it and spit out something else. So in this case, we're gonna use torque and engine speed to do a little bit of math to figure out horsepower because that's the equation for horsepower anyway. So we'll start with name, we'll call it horsepower, and then abbreviation, abbreviation, HP, excuse me. If you wanna put a note in here, this is just for you, for a reference, we're not gonna do that. So once you've done that, the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna give it the expression or the formula for what we want it to carry out. Now, as I said, I'm just gonna put this in the notes here so you can see this. The formula for horsepower is engine speed, which is RPM, times, there we go, times torque divided by 5252. So that's what we're going to attempt to create here using these variables. And what the variable is, are these channels over here. So what we're gonna do is let's say new variable and we're gonna go up here, click to insert or change. Now, uh, one of the things I like to do is use this little gear here because this only shows the channels that have been listed in the background, cutting down on tons of things you could pick from incorrectly. So I'm not gonna click it yet, but I'm gonna, wa I'm gonna show you this, I want you to watch. So I'm gonna type here engine speed, so E-N-G-I-N-E, -E. there we go. Okay, now you see all these things we could pick from that may not have even been recorded back here. But if you click this, there we go. So now I have engine speed clearly right here. And it's gonna ask me, it says, I'm, I've selected a parameter that is also defined as generic. So the way we like to explain this is, if you pick generic, it'll go and look for engine speed uh, that'll work with uh, pretty much anything that you scan that shows engine speed. This will work specifically with this uh, particular uh, config as this particular uh, parameter has been recorded. So it's okay, you can say yes, if you wanna use a generic, it'll make it more, more broad. But if you have it specifically, you can say no. Uh, it just may not be as likely to work across multiple vehicles. Okay, now just double check this, revolutions per minute, yep. No special functions we need to do here, let's say okay. Okay, now let's click on the outside and you'll notice it put a number in here. Now that number is simply for it to reference what it calls the ID and you call engine speed. So don't worry about the number. And then we're gonna go in here, and now you notice I'm outside the brackets. I'm gonna put a, an asterisk, which is a hold down shift and push eight, which is the multiply symbol. And let's go ahead and grab our next one, which is gonna be torque. Click to insert or change. And we're gonna type delivered. And we're gonna hit the gear. There we go, very easy, delivered engine torque. Same question, okay, sure, I can use the generic. And then I'm gonna make sure that looks good, pound feet. Also, uh, guys tend to like Newton meters, typically in places like Australia. You guys can use those if you like. Okay, so now I've got two parts of my formula complete here. So I've got engine speed times engine torque. I'm gonna to click outside, make sure you're outside this bracket, divide by 5252. Now that is the actual formula for how horsepower is uh, calculated because it is calculated from torque. So now I have this correct. What we can do is we can save it. Okay, and you see it autom automatically put me over here at the VCM scanner maths. So I'm gonna call it new math parameter. 
If you're bad at math, you might want to call it like your fuzzy math parameter. That was just funny, don't worry. <laughs> okay, so now I've got it saved. It's going to be here, and if I need it, I can always reload it. So I can go ahead and close this out now. Now I'm not quite done. You'll notice it did not appear anywhere here, and this is usually where people get hung up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to the second chart here. I'm going to get rid of this wideband that I'm not using in this particular scan just for ease of use. So you'll have torque and horsepower on the same chart. So let's go to charts layout. So I right clicked and then I'm going to left click on charts layout. Let's get this out of the way here so you can see it. Group two. And I'm going to take over this wideband one here. But if you don't have one to take over, you can just click here on group two and then make a new series. So you go to, go here, here and then insert it, insert the parameter. Let's get rid of it. Let's take over the wideband. And let's go ahead here and change it from parameter of Daytona sensors. Now what you're looking for is the one you just created called horsepower, right? So we'll just go ahead and type in H just to get things moving. And then I'm going to, there we go, click that. And now I've got horsepower. You'll notice it's under user defined under maths. Obviously it's what we created. It's a user defined under maths. Double click. Last step, don't forget this, minimum and maximum. So if you want it to be on the same scale as your delivered engine torque, you look over here. My delivered engine torque is in yellow, and I have 0 to 700. So I'll put a 700 and then a 0 here. I don't need any decimals. And then my coloration is good. The white's good. There's no other white colors, uh, colored parameters in here. So let's give it, a, give it a try. All you got to do is close this. If you like it, you can come back here again and save it. Here we go. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. Now it might be a little bit tough to see because this is a uh, this is white and this is yellow and you got a little blue for the math behind it. But anyway, if you look, here's your horsepower rating, 250, and if it's correct, it will cross at 5252. It should. It's a mathematical certainty. So I'm going to get as close as I can. That's about as close as I can get. And you'll notice they cross right here. I'm going to zoom in one more time. And yep, they intersect right there. So. If you back off here, this looks just like a horsepower and uh, curve or chart you'd see off a, off a chassis dyno. So technically speaking, this should work really well for you. Uh, as long as your delivered engine torque is reading properly, as long as you haven't done something like scaling a tune and messed up how the delivered engine torque is read, this will work great. As long as you have not exceeded the delivered engine torque capability, which is 600, 640 foot-pounds usually, uh, this will work perfectly. So you can scan through here and you can see how this engine created power. 300, 320, 330, and then it falls on the shift and it comes right back up. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoy that. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new today. For more high performance tuning knowledge, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on social media. And as always, stay tuned.